fucking up insane. A perfect position. Oh, and Shawniac. Insane, just so close to each other. The question is who peeks first? Ooh, insane. Could spot that barrel first. He spots a barrel, but he fires oh, off a bit man. early. So that fight will be avoided, but Grape goes one for one on that B site, and he's JT on a bit of an island. He needs this kill on a Brett and an instant dink and a body shot. The one two punch comes out from JT, and that will give them the man advantage. Things slowing down as they head over towards this A ramp here. The bomb is still working its way up. It will be here late. Okay, though. Oh, Insane all the way up. Beaky pushing at the same time. Oh. And there it is. Insane finding that frag. And now this bomb site completely clear. Side hall cleared up. And Shawnee is here, though. Faster than anticipated with the Oh, the Molotov. Oh, oh, the smoke nearly missing down to just the AP. Firing off the shot. The smoke blocking any chance of him hitting anything here. As they put themselves into this retake 3v3 situation. TI. We're into a nail biter. Oh, baby. Retake attempt going to be coming on in from GGPUR. Insane Dangerous and Walker. All playing from the right side. There is a one-dimensional approach, and it's one-dimensional because it's dangerous getting all the damage in. It's only insane needed to cap it off. And that's a seventh for third impact. They equalized by posting six rounds in a row. And now it's the final round of the half. Well, we are tied up. This is not how I expect things to be going after seeing that initial run from the side of GGPR. If you take a look at that, we started off with four in a row from GGPR, and, you know, they made it all the way up to their scoreline. Currently, with their third impact, just completely flipped the books over in their direction. Knock goes out. It will be shots as well. We'll actually do a little bit of tag damage with the MP9. Actually, no. Where where was Grape? Where did he take that? Where did he take that damage? May have been a nade towards the bottom of B stairs. Yeah. Well, and Shawniak has taken all his damage from Dane Joris, and he'll be out of this final round of the half. Beaky also playing a little gap there with the MP9. Oh, he, the he, has, he has an idea where yeah, he has an idea where Insane is. Can't really do much to capitalize upon it though. In this four on five, and so GGPR kind of just gonna have to play this one out thin, and it gives Third Impact the opportunity to just spread out and take a bomb site. Yeah, and look at this Third Impact backing off. They're gonna be heading over towards A here, backing themselves up. Not much here in order to prevent as they gamble towards the V bomb site. This might be perfect. It's all down to timing. Can they get up before GGPR realizes it? Mm. Two players over here now. Deaky and Pluto. Someone someone needs a multi-frag here. Pluto looking to do it with only a Flamox. Gets the first on him insane. Is he ready for more? He'll oh, take a second. God. And that's exactly what GGPR ordered. But Brett is going to serve up one to Beaky. JT, at least with that trade, makes this one a two versus two. With 15 seconds remaining, there's a flank coming in from Lowrider. And he takes down Walker. Great will at least set down that bomb, but only on five. AP, he gets the first head looking for the second. Oh, oh but JT is going to be able to take him down. Eight to seven. And it all settles down. GGPR eke out a lead. And that will be the half, everybody. We will be back in a little bit just after this break. So stick around and we will be back with you.
And we are back with half number two. DGPR got off to the flying start, but it quickly vaporized at the hand of third impact. So now, at least they get themselves an 8-7 lead. Going into the T side of their map pick, I'm Fi, and I'm joined alongside Jacob Halfman, who's pushing the sticks, man in the buttons. So we're going to get this one started. T side of Vertigo here for DGPR. Du Dually's out for Dangerous to counter. The A site immediately under threat. GGPR looking to get this one off on the right foot. Oh, behind Sandbags here. Could become a little bit of a problem, and he will be Walker getting that first kill. And actually cleaning things up. The CTs. Dangerous even getting one with the duelies, but Ooh. check this out over here. We B site. Have, yeah, check this out. We've got the B site completely taken over by the T side. JT. JT. Oh up boy. close. This is perfect territory for that Glock. You got 20 bullets, much more than any USP, a better fire rate as well. And he's actually going to bring in his teammate and Beaky to both push up. But oh, they force a spot on them out. Dooley trying to unleash. But instead, Grief and Brett will crunch in and finish the round. Bomb plan in for GGPR, so you're not really upset with that. But it's third impact with pistol. Nice and easy. I do like to see the duelies come out, though. I'm, I'm very happy to see those duelies come out. They're just entertaining. They're one of my favorite things in the game. The fact that we get duelies, like, like, that's so sick. And when we get to see them happen in DreamHack CSGO qualifiers, closed qualifiers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You love to see it at this level. But off the back of that, we mm. will be seeing uh, a uh, bit of a force up from the T side. And... Uh, uh, we are getting a not live at the moment. We are getting a not live from third impact. And bum bum bum. It's like looks like Insane's game has wrapped. So we will be uh we waiting around. Killing some air as we wait for Insane to find his way back into the game. Maybe turn his PC back on. I believe I believe they are playing actually out of uh, the, uh, um, out of the local host in Philadelphia, um, mm. seeing as they were playing in the, uh, Fregadelphia, I believe, Fregadelphia Blast Qualifier. So, they're actually playing this one together, so they are all in a, um, all in the same spot. And I think... do wonders for, uh, do wonders for your team chemistry. Mm. I think a couple players decided to go home. I think that's what I've heard. Uh, from the third impact camp, especially well, Dane George isn't out there okay, to be sure, but th but not... there, but there are at least I believe at least three players who are uh, currently out there. I think Walker might have decided had to go back home because he's from Canada, or if I got that correct. That is so, true. That is true. So, but in any case, there is yeah. So there are three players uh, playing together. I would assume that's Grape, Insane, and Brett all in the same building, which is a definitely an interesting prospect. You get the, the communications a little bit better uh, there and can kind of interact with your teammates, kind of get that more personal setting. For now, though, well, we have this setting, which is simply a tactical pause. Yep, so we got to wait for we Insane. Are back. To, we are back. So we are back. We are back live. We are back live. As soon as this pauses out, we have, uh, we have our technical issues sorted. Insane's computer is now working which is awesome you love to see it when Bubble. things work <laughs> so i love it does allow us to uh does allow us to watch and play the game which is amazing so um we will see the yep there we go the guns are set back to how they were and funnily enough i would almost argue that the gdpr buy off of the back of this after the back of that round loss is pretty similar to that of the impact Two rifles apiece, however, they do have MP9s on the side of TI as opposed to the Deagles over in the hands of the GGPR players. So, you know, you can mm -hmm. you can uh, fight about equivalency there, but I'd say in the hands of these kinds of players, those guns can both, uh, I'd, I'd call that a 50-50. Maybe with a little lean for the MP9. And Joris, ooh, spending a little bit too much time over towards the B-bomb site. And look at this, third impact slowly working towards this ramp. They've got a lot of people here. They're ready for this swing. They start to play one insane. Oh, actually, it's what? Brett. 
It's right from above. Look at him go. He's able to find the first three. And oh, not quite catching the last one as Lowrider with his Deagle has managed to find at least one, but picking up the rifle. Gonna lose it as well. Nine rounds for third impact. And uh, that force buy will not work for mm. the that was a really well-played round from Third Impact. They all simultaneously peek from every facet of A ramp, from the crane down on the lower side, from the IV position, and they just crunch. And it's GGPR who are caught in the crosshairs. Nine now for Third Impact, and now they can actually begin to run up a lead on the CT side early. GGPR only down to pistols. Yeah, I'm great. Uh, he's going to tap away a beaky, but... Nothing to be had there, but oh, on the other side of the map, we're seeing kills fall uh, all over the place. Actually, we can't even figure out where this action is happening. Is on the A bomb site. Now, just whittled down to three members. On the action, no AP, and oh, Rhett will get traded out by JT, and they will commit to this. Walker sitting up top is going to be the one who gets the first. And Rape, ooh, A tapping into his final kill. I can't get out of tank out of that as well. Two dings. Okay, okay, and Shawniac. Plenty of kills. But slipped. Not not any rounds, but off the back of that eco, they will be able to finally purchase some guns. But yeah, I gotta say, you got just a, a fade away double Glock dink there. Yeah, tough tough fish to catch is in Shawniac. He's just running around, gets on top of the sandbags, peekaboo, gives a dink, but no frags. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. Third impact, keeping it clean oh, this mid for in. this one. We're gonna go for something maybe fast out towards middle. Saw a couple nades thrown there by the GTPR camp. Now they can just reposition back towards the A ramp, which is the nesting grounds here for GTPR or any T side on Vertigo. Oh, insane play. Insane. Close. He oh. has invaded the territory. He's flashed through, but it'll get traded by Pluto. More importantly, though, that spots out the bomb. So insane sacrifice might be worthwhile. Yeah, they were going for a boost there. That's why they're all hiding behind the box and the flash just perfect. Actually catching a couple of them off guard, but Peaky catching Brett out. And suddenly Walker's position Ooh, becomes Walker. super important. Will they molly him out? They only have they have two players who can do this. Pluto is in a position to do this. I don't think he's gonna oh, no. Walker has a grand opportunity. To have a grand old time. They're in a three on oh. four for much, not much longer, but an instant readjustment there from Beaky. Well done there. A second one for the lad as well. It leaves Dane George on the secondary off to try and claw things back. Getting clocked down by Enshawniac. It's only a fake plant. Dane George still sticking around. That bomb eventually going to get planted, though. It's him up for the one versus two. Has a kit and a smoke, though, to work this one out. Dropping that smoke early. Oh, and it's going to be off the bomb. He's, he smoked that for side. Oh, that no. Molotov. Oh, it's going to start nipping at his heels. Oh, oh he's burning. He's burning down to Whoa. 6 HP. And that will he's be saving. a cancel. Oh, that missed smoke. I, I don't know if he was just trying to smoke for side hall or what, but he dropped that too early. Got a little bit too, too ready to get that one going and... That will be GGBR finally finding a response on their T side here. Finally. Actually, third impact looks like the second. Or no, that will be their first. Ah, mm. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon us with the brain here. Yeah, third impact trying to replicate what GGPR had going on their CT side, but this time around. The nice little execute from GGPR themselves. An incredible adjustment there from Beaky onto Walker. Stops him from getting more than one. And keeps that under wraps for GGPR. And Dane George just gets Molly out of position. That's a cancel. Oh, Fly back in though for third impact. Still an off in play. Walker still wants to get aggressive with it, but he'll receive a nade and kind. So oh, there's still the third impact. Here. Still milling about. Insane and Brett gonna get flashed through the smoke. They're gonna push. Insane goes down. It's only the peak 50 loss. Can Brett get out as well? The answer is no. Walker up close. Missed the initial shot. Oh. Getting chased down by Pluto, who blocks him down. Two versus four now. And GGPR are looking likely to even up here unless some miracle is pulled out from third impact. And that is not gonna be the case. It's only great. Yeah, and that will be the bomb going down on the B-bomb site. 
Grape just gonna try and find a place to hide and a place to put this off. He can save this, um, but it's gonna be a long time and there's gonna be a lot of people hunting. Question is, will um, GGPR decide to hunt here? And the answer is yes, they are sending out an absolute battalion. Two players so far, and actually Beaky as well, just clearing out, holding on to this bomb site. But, oh, actually, okay, Grape does get the first. He has shown some skill on the AWP, but not expecting JT to be in the position that he was in, and that will be 10th for GGPR. Grape actually has had some success playing the AWP on, uh, mm -hmm. on Lana Frag, and I believe, uh, I, I don't quite recall if he's been playing secondary, yeah. but... Yeah, he's been doing the secondary mm -hmm. opping, for third impact, um, especially in light that uh, Dane Joris was out of the picture. He was doing great work at Frag. Mm -hmm. no, so, at least in recency. But with the return of Dane Joris, I guess he could be back on the standard rifles. He can double up. Grape is a walking Swiss Army knife. Well, maybe the rest of third impact not walking anymore. As Beaky just keeping up this crisp game. He's had it all game. It's only eco frags, but it's lovely to see. Here's the block even trying to finish off the round. Potentially an ace. Brett's going to take that away from him. But this is a GGPR round through and through. He'll be out of that round quickly, 11-10. But, you know, a little bit of an aim showcase so far here on Vertigo from Beaky. Yeah, that's for sure. Beaky has just been impressive. 22 kills. Beaky and Pluto combined have just been absolutely shredding. And now... TI has started to struggle a little bit, dropping those two, uh, dropping those two gun rounds will actually force them down onto, or sorry, dropping that, uh, dropping those, yeah, actually, no, that was a single gun round before they actually ran out of money, this is side economy, pardon the old, uh, old wrinkled, or sorry, on wrinkling, but, the, ooh, uh, taking a little bit of fire, they're gonna be wary of these deagles and back off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just losing that one gun round and then the eco. And okay. Look at this, low rider. All right, low rider. He's getting aggressive. He's having fun with it. Gets dropped down by Dangerous though, but that AK is far from retrieval. Dangerous is oh. gonna make an expedition for it, and a threat is gonna be able to dome him. But there's JT looking to clean things up on janitorial duty, and this will be a third, or rather, well. A 12th for GGPR. Three people still standing here for GGPR. There is Walker here on the flank, though. One dig potential? No. As in Shawnee will put him down. And Zane might be better off saving his armor, unless he wants to make the front page of HLTV. But I don't see that very likely here. Very likely off to save. Ooh. Some damage on the back end. Drops JT down to one point of health. But yeah, he's out of it. It's going to be a 12th now for GGPR. There is a buy in for third impact, however. Yep, back onto a buy. Um, after that uh, double save um, slash deco. Um, I've, uh, this, is, this, has been, this has been very spicy so far. And with GGPR starting to kind of claw their way back into this, they've actually found themselves back into a two round lead despite the way that things were rolling at the half and despite mm -hmm. what was going on there. So let's see here. Walker looking to take this off once again. Oh my what? god! Full blind headshot onto Inshaniac. What an absolute ego beat. Beaky trying to find an answer, but full blind, and that will be Brett to find another. That... What? That isn't... That, he's completely blind! He saw nobody! The thing that blows I my mind... I am telling you this. He saw nobody... And in third impact, they don't want anybody here at ramp. They're just going to swing in, try and finish the round in one fell swoop. It's only JT taking pot shots with the AWP, and he ain't going to be around for much longer. Third impact. What a round. I just want to point out that that was not only a full blind kill, that was a full blind headshot. Like, that flick, like, that was... <laughs> that was nasty, to say the least. That's one of the crazier kills I've seen. How would you rate that on the kill list overall? Like, uh, let's that's like let's, a, add a, let's let's put a ranking to it. Let's say uh, mm, let's mm. just let's do number ranking. We're not trying to pull okay, stats I, on the ten. So from simple hitting the right, flick right. onto remember that Grim when Grim was trying to get down secret on Nuke and simple hit a ninety degree flick oh, yes, to just yes, destroy yes. him. So on a scale to that to getting an eco kill, that probably ranks on like the the nine scale. I'd have to agree. Okay. I have to agree. That was that was pretty nice. That was 
He like adjusted onto it too. I don't know how. I better be seeing some footage of that one later. I want. I want to see right. that clip later because that was that was hot. Oh, okay, now mm. you're with the op. Ah, oh, but doesn't oh. see him through the smoke. There's a gun. Yeah. To get this one done as well. DPR off the back of that and flashing back in though. They might get some more wind in their sails. Insane at least has a reply onto it. Shawniak, but third impact one. I keep aggressing. They are just filled with so much rage and they take down Lowrider. Bring it down to a three versus three and clear out the entire step side. And now they begin to realize we've left that entire ace bomb site open and they might be walking into Beaky's crosshair. Sprays down the first on to Brett. Knows the second of insane oh, easy kill for Beaky. Now a 1v3 for Walker. He's rotated in at time at a minimum. Oh, timing. But is it too late? They're aware of the position. You're beginning that kill. Uh -oh. He has a shot. Nobody's close. They're all far away. They're miles away. But he doesn't have a kit. Oh, that is the Pluto. primary oh, issue here. And well, Pluto's going to take down Walker. It's 13 to 11. And now things be get, get to become really dire for third impact. The money does not lend itself to a great situation. Maybe a dropped off. It's going to be a bit desperate. Yeah, the question is, do they let them go to 14 here to ensure that they have a full buy? And the answer is, it looks like they will. They'll just be buying up some armor and doing GG go next for the next round. They will be praying for some for some nice deagle action, however. There is a imposter of a 5-7 and a 50 amongst those. Pluto. Playing careful around the edge of the smoke. Spot insane. Gets the first walk. Tag down to 14 HP. Things are getting close. You might be giving up a 2-0 here. You gotta be careful. And Dane even doing a little bit of damage. Ooh. Oh, 5-7? No. And that will be it. Quick anti-eco mop up there from GGPR. And here comes what might just be the final gun round here for third impact. They have to win this. This is it. This is their final chance to get in. Walker, you've shown us some good shots. We've seen some great plays so far out of these players. But all individual. Um, they've, they've put themselves together on some of these bigger rounds, but they've run out of steam. Pausing for a second, Walker. Actually looking like we might be seeing them fast up oh. onto the B bomb site. There are players here to contest. Lowrider swinging out. No flashes to be found here. It will be even trade. And actually, on the other side of the map, a couple of kills as well. Now Walker and Brett stuck in a two versus two after that kill from Walker. Beaky and Pluto. Oh, Beaky. Oh, no. But Beaky. Has that flank. Pluto beginning his rotate over. Beaky has been hurt, though. Oh, oh but he still hits the headshot on a Brett. It's the AK versus the M4, and it's Beaky's AK, of course. That prevails. Walker will at least finish him off. But Pluto's going for the kill. He doesn't need the plant. And he destroys Walker where he stands. 15 to 11. And GGPR looking to close this one down. 2-0. No response. And look at the money for third impact. That fast B play. Then the, uh, then the Lurk on A getting those kills, just absolutely pinchering them. Third Impact don't know where they need to be going. Shot. Killed. 15 rounds. And now look at this mid push from Third Impact. Oh, losing the first oh. here as well. Trying to find some answers. They do trade it out. But now fast over towards... Actually, they're just, they're just defaulting this one out. Keeping the slow low rider as well, getting another kill. Only three players That's remain. That's B-Site. B-Site's almost wide open here. Walker's just playing very far back. They're going to have to concede a bomb plant here, Jacob. In this three versus four, especially as in Shawnee, picks off insane. It's looking dire. Walker with the deeg has to pull up something huge. Dane Joris is coming in on a flank, though. Keep this in mind. Dane is in rotation. But Walker going down. Now their eyes are turned towards this position, and Pluto's is going to lock it in on a Dane Joris. It ends 16 to 11 and 2 0 for GGPR. They put on a masterclass here on Vertigo. That was an excellent showing from them. Yeah, I want to say, you know, that looked pretty similar to the last time that they played as well. Um, although, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> not, not an Inferno. That's, that's for sure. Inferno. Yeah. Definitely not the, not the best showing that we've ever seen from, uh, from third impact um 
and uh, GDPR yeah. just showing how strong they are and just individually the shots that they're hitting between, you know, and Shawniak finishing that one off with 18, Pluto with 24. Um, it's just yeah. unbelievable the way that they're able to play and shut Third Impact down. Third Impact just not catching a break over these past couple of months. Yeah, and I just got to give my shout outs to Beaky there. He is turning up huge for GGPR, as well as Pluto, who is substituting in for Xseed. I believe he'll be a permanent addition to the lineup. These guys, those two guys carried this team through Vertigo and Inferno. They were a huge power, uh, powerful force here for GGPR, and they bring them over the line 2 0, and they advance to the upper bracket semifinal where they could face off versus Triumph, who have closed down their game versus ATK. So that is going to be going down. And GGPR is making themselves out as a very strong foe. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, everybody, you can stick around, however. Um, maybe go make a sandwich or something, because we've got about a little under two hours left before our next matchup. We have uh, Team Eros versus Strife up next right here on DreamHack CS. Um, and that will be another best of three. I'm personally really excited for that one. That is the roster of uh, Cryptic, A, Umar, Lirsi, and Jason for Eros and Strife. The Stamina, Joels, Austin, Saturn, and Slight roster. We've seen some excellent things out of Strife recently, and I'm excited too because Eros has been pretty strong in Premiere as well. So make sure that you stick around. And uh, maybe maybe take a little break. Maybe go do something else for a little while. But we will be back in just under two hours for our next best of three. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in for this one. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>